Alright. <coughs> uh, hello. Hello, hello. Hope everyone is doing well. Doing fine. I hope you are. It is Sunday afternoon. Hope everyone is having a good day. And, uh, yeah. Today we continue, uh, Olympus. We continue reading Olympus. And yeah. Uh, last time we made some progress on our way to rescue Europa. We defeated we defeated Limbo, aka Doman. And uh, yeah. <coughs> and now we continue on our way to, res to rescue Queen Europa. And to the start that we're going to battle Zeus soon. Very, very soon. So uh, let me get this thing ready. Let me get the... The... The, the guide. The, the quest guide for Olympus. Ready. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's switch to the game screen already. There we are. Okay, now. Alright, the login things, yeah. All of that, sure. Let me claim all of that. More sane course. For the upcoming a Requiem event that has now officially been announced for uh, the first week of May. Hi, Koyanskaya, just in time. Uh, hello there. You're uh, just in time to, con to start the story. Alright. So we are at chapter 20, so let me go right away. Okay, we have a big battle, a uh, big battle here. Okay. All right. Hello there. Okay, uh, Ryder and Berserker, <coughs> and it's a boss battle. Hmm. Hmm. We could bring. Uh, yep. I mean, we should bring uh, assassins, obviously. We should bring uh, assassins. So let's bring this MP3 shooting. And put some assassins in the back. <coughs> okay. Let's bring in Shiki. And uh, let's see. Shiki and uh, Gray. Not you, Gray. Gray. Thank you. Now, we change the CE, do something with arts, like this one, and change our, our mystic code to Atlas. Grandpa, you mean Hassan? Could be also, but uh, let's try with this. Let's try something like this. Not sure how well will it go. 
but uh, we should give it our best shot with this. If this doesn't work, then we can change the strategy. And if that doesn't work yet again, then we are going to <laughs> need to revive. So this is Zeus' great altar. I can see the sky from here, along with the tree of emptiness. I mean, Atlas, the world tree. And I'm guessing the, that circular structure in front of the sky must be the Kronos crown. Yup. Was that a bell? It is a bell. Deity activating. Deity manifesting. Kronos crown synchronization complete. Executing deity projection from Alethea. Deity will manifest in altar zone automatically. Deity pseudo form designation Zeus. Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. For their own well being, all intelligence in the vicinity are encouraged to use mental protection. The very air is shaken. Magical energy is concentrating up ahead. I can't get a read on it. This sheer magical energy density is overwhelming. Even as a heroic spirit, it's enough to bowl me over. I wish I could say I was shaking from excitement at the prospect of facing a tough opponent. But this pressure, this ferocity, feels like the second coming of Virokana. It's a cut up of the demonic sword, demon or demon king. So this is the most advanced being in this entire world. The other mechanical gods were a hell of a fight, but this year's willing power makes them look like nothing. This is the power of our divine spirit? No. He is of course an actual all-powerful god. Yep, here he comes. Hi there, Zeus. You have been granted an audience with the king of the gods. This is neither a blessing nor cause for joy. Now, kneel. Kneel. This pressure. High gravity. So the god of the heavens is even capable of controlling gravity itself? It's like the very air is pushing me down. Shit. I can't hold on. This pressure is insane. I can't even stand. Damn it. Macarius. Huh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna bust your balls over feeling to stand up to hand. That's proper hero shit anyway. Aphrodite was a real piece of work in her own right. But I guess these poor soul to Olympias are nothing but a bunch of cowards. If you want people to kneel before you, you're supposed to earn it with your own goddamn charisma. Alright, how do you like that? Way to go, Kyanis. If nothing else, you've definitely got a spirit going for you. Guess I'd better get my act together if I don't want you showing me up, huh? Me too. I can't afford to lose. To a single utterance? Heh. <laughs> you lot are real cheeky bastards, aren't you? But then, I guess you'd have to be... to try and slay a god. I see. Athena, goddess of wisdom. Ares, god of war. Poseidon, god of the seas. They may not fully reside within you, but I can still see my compatriot's power infusing you. I see. So the same compatriots I once killed with my own hands have returned. I sense destiny at work in those gathered here. Very well then, emissaries of proper human history who accompany my compatriots. I shall refrain from crushing you all at once. Now, answer me this. Why have you come here? We came to stop you from executing Europa. Damn it, my legs. Macarius? No, human children of Olympus. Rest for now. The Graviton Baptism authority granted to me by the Divine Kronos Crown is far too much for humans to bear. Come, catch your breath. Do not speak for the time being. My question is directed at you, Chaldeans. And you are experts of proper human history that accompany them. Why? Why have you come to my lost belt? 
We're here to cut down the tree of emptiness and get our wall back. The trees of emptiness and your world. Yeah. Yes, I... We... We were the last to survive. And we're here to take back our bleached white earth. Earth. I see. <laughs> okay, why are you laughing at me? Why? Why? Why are you laughing? Even more pressure. Ah, forgive me. My love is not the authority of laughter itself, you see. Indeed, you have answered my questions both directly and unwaveringly. Macarius, Adele, children of Nikos and Artemisia. I will grant your reward. This reward is my grace, a symbol of commendation for your friend's bravery. You will be the ones to carry out the execution. Execution? You don't mean... The revelation has already been decreed. Europa! A revelation has been imparted. Jasmine has been passed. Life forms, humans, all those gathered here. Give out your lives to the Almighty One. Zeus, Zeus, our Almighty Ruler, the Heavens Incarnate. All is as you wish. Please speak to us. Kill them. The queen's mind is being controlled by the king of the gods. She cannot hear us now. Be careful. She's no longer the kind mother figure we met before. Accept your fate and die. Stay right where you are. Do not bother to resist. Mere humans are no match for the giant soldier Lord Zeus has bestowed would upon me. Lord Zeus. Yes. Kill them. Else they will kill you. Your fate is now in their hands, Queen Europa. Magarius, Adel, I will grant you exactly what it is you have wished for. I will not execute my queen. You will. There can be no refusal. This is your God's grace. Accept it and be grateful. How can you possibly call that grace? This is my grace. Everything I provide for human is grace, love, destiny, a fate all should accept. Come forth, Talos. We're going... Oh, hi again. Intruders detected. Initiating elimination. Talos. Alright, we never defeated a thing with the black watch set. So of course it'll fix itself and show up again. Talos, the Frost Giant. A monster Zeus himself bestowed upon Queen Europa. I must say, Zeus, your proper human history counterpart would never have s had such repulsive ulterior motives in giving a gift as you have here. In fact, I'll go one step further. Found the leader of Olympus? You're a far smaller minded and more petty god than the one we know. <laughs> Not bad! That was pretty cutting for you. Screw Karen, it's the truth plain and simple. This god is pretty spiteful for a magnanimous deity. That said, I can deny this is a worthy opponent. And hey, now we'll get a chance to make up for our peace poor showing from last time. Product Mash. Let's show this overgrown marionette what we've learned since the last time we saw him. We can save Europa once Talos is destroyed. Understood. Raising Ordinax output and switching to combat mode. Okay, calm down. Preparing to engage enemy. Alright. Talos and Europa. Bring it. We need to kill Talos first because it's going to be the, the more annoying, I can imagine. You are going to be far more annoying.
Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Yep, that's a lot of damage. Jesus. Okay. <coughs> We're going to hold on on the invincibility. Are we going to do it like this? Yeah. Figure. Yeah. Figures. This is a much harder fight. <laughs> Jesus. This is much harder. That Talos is going to be a pain in the ass. More than Europa, that's for sure. Okay. Now what? Okay. Okay, we got We got grey, thankfully. We got gray. Okay. I'm going to put this on uh, on Shiki. Okay, bring it. Okay. Well then, that's Europa. So it opens and peace ready. By the way, uh, this was, yeah, this was uh, guess and Pikas but decreases HP. Sometimes I get it confused with boy Shiki since it's like the reverse, I think. Mm, okay. This will hurt. Yeah. What a first attempt. What a very bad first attempt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this won't work. Let's just withdraw. This this isn't working. <laughs> Let let's try again with a better strategy now. 
that Carlos is going to be a, a real pain in the ass. That's for sure. Because we need to bring uh, foreigners to, um, on this battle too. So let's see. We can either bring an assassin or a foreigner. To handle in the support. Or yes, a support servant. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to bring in Hassan. And we're going to clear all. We're going to put a mash in the back. And we're going to bring in a bunch of servants here. Assassins. We're going to bring in Gamma. Uh, okay. 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 will drive and I highly doubt we can get even a three star for you right I doubt it oh we can okay sure <coughs> well then let's redrive with these half foreigner half assassin team plus mash and I'm going to keep the Mystic Code as is. Uh, see with 50 and before come up? Maybe, but uh, I don't have the, her skills maxed up, so it won't be that very helpful yet. Let's skip this dialogue and go right away. But uh, again, this is just trial and error for this. If we keep on failing this, I guess I will need to start using revise. But well. Here we are, back again. Okay, here we are. Um, okay. Yeah. You have this upgraded, so it's Guts. Got that. Death Savage, which is faster car effectiveness while Guts is applied. When Guts is activated, apply... Uh... Increase and pigas and greatly increases buster card effectiveness for yourself. Interesting. Okay, uh we're gonna do should we Yeah we can use it, it's five turns, we can use it. We can use it right away, sure. Okay, we got two and peas ready. Okay, this is uh, what was this again? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
And this is... yeah. Got it. We're going to go with double foreigner and instead. On this one. And next turn we're going with Hassan's. I think that can be a plan. Because we can only target one of these. Sing be a single target. So I want to target Talos first, then Europa. If it works. Which I hope it works. <coughs> the defense down. That was some decent damage. Yeah. Nice. Fine by me. I'm going to even heal with this. Why not? Now we target Europa. And... Yeah, the death resist won't work, but uh, just to get the buster up. Ooh, 181. Nice. We broke the bar. We'll take that. We'll take that indeed. Okay, now it's going to make us target the Talos. Okay. I see. Now it's going to force us to target the Talos. Hmm, okay. Nice crit. Nice. Body heating up. Mm, okay. Got it. We're fine. It's fine. Okay. Hmm. You can only put one invincibility. <laughs> so I guess I will put it on Hassan. It will uh, be of help. Okay. We're going against Talos. Why not? <laughs> Full brave chain against Talos. Let's see. One hundred eighteen. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. At least. Now this will hurt. Four Rainers are out, but uh, they were of they were of great assistance. Now we need to take out the Talos ASAP. Because it's going to use the <laughs> the strong attack now. So uh if we can do that real quick. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Mm. 
Nice crit. Didn't kill. <laughs> Shit. Nope, this didn't work. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's re let's restart this. I can do this. Let me put the. Let me. Let me restart the turn. Instead, I'm going to put the gods instead. I'm going to put the gods in visibility and all of that because I don't want to die and <laughs> with that. So let's retry this. Let's re undo the turn. <coughs> Because this is becoming much more doable than <laughs> the previous attempt. So let's retry this. Proper. Resume. One hit turn. Yeah, it, it one shot it. It was like the one shot it in the front line with that. So let's retry this turn, shall we? Let's get some cuts and invincibility or else. Or else uh, this battle will be done in... Uh, in nothing. Guts. There we go. Hassan will die. That's for sure, because he doesn't have anything to protect himself. But... It should be... Better than this. So <laughs> let's see. Okay, there we go. Now we have to kill him again. Yeah. Hmm. This won't look great. Gray is going to die real fast. Hmm. And we don't have the best of cars to do this. We take like, like 50k damage of HP. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we got down the Talox, the, the Talos right away. Mash is the only one left. But now Europa can't NP. I'm not sure this is going to become a mass solo after this. <laughs> a mass solo. Imagine. Especially with the tanky buffs that she, she's having with this. I guess this is going to become somewhat of a mass solo after all this. So who knows? Imagine if it happens that we actually win with just mash this battle. Okay, recovery mystic code. We'll look at that. Will you look at that? Okay. Hmm. 
Nice crit. History of I can be sold by mass if, if you're not mistaken. Well then, will you look at that? Okay. Mm, okay. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Mass with our shield bunking enemies. Indeed. Nice crit. 30k with that crit. Nice. More defense. We got more healing. Nice. Okay. Hoping for a great indeed. Adam Buster, specifically. Okay, we are less than 100 K of HP. Yeah, we're basically tanking this now. We are attacking, we're taking this with a lot <coughs> of defense. We are very, we're getting very tanky now. So, yeah, maybe this is bound to happen. Okay. Let's get some more stars. Mass character solo heart. Uh, uh, you are seeing it the same way as I do. It's taking forever, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we're actually doing it. And we're ready to MP again. So there's that. You are seeing it the same way as I'm do I'm seeing it. Mass is doing it. She's actually beating up Europa. It's taking forever, but it's working. Nice crit. Yep. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. We actually got this. We got this. And there it is! 18 turns! Kind of a mass solo in the end! We did it! And we didn't need to revive either! Who would have thought? Who would have imagined that Master was able to be the MVP of this battle? Who would have thought? Yep. And the same course.
Okay, we okay. Yeah. Uh ruler. Yep. Okay. Next next battle is Zeus battle. Time to bring in the Avengers, I guess. Well, not this battle. This is a kind of an scripted battle apparently. Battle ends at turn four. So let's just go with it, I guess. Okay, bring it. I am the thunder, that's my stars. But four. I let him step on my shield. So I can push him up and throw him up balance with it. Kindness. <coughs> I can't believe you actually pushed the big lungs heel of the ground. You're a hell of a lot stronger than you look, you light. All right, my turn. Ah. Now's my chance. Ah. Ah. Uh, my Talos. My poor Talos. I still remember when my beloved gave him to me. Ah, Talos. Pardon me, your majesty. Knocked out. Holmes! Not to worry. I merely put her to sleep by means of a pressure point. Surely you know by now that I would never take the life of a lady. At least she's saved. Not dead, but saved. But safe. That being said, I have a feeling the omnipotent god in the room may not appreciate my chivalry. Or share it, for that matter. Why? Why did you not kill her? Have you forgotten that I ordered you to carry out Queen Europa's execution? <laughs> Holmes is a simp. <laughs> eh, English gentleman, be English gentleman. I guess. It is through my grace that you have been given this opportunity. All you need to do is carry it out swiftly. So I ask again, why did you not kill her? Is it because you still believe, even now, that humans are merciful creatures moved to help each other? Is that what you would claim? <laughs> I... I sure don't. I want to kill as many as possible, and I especially want to kill every last one of you Olympian gods. That bastard Poseidon may be long gone by now, but you've still been pissing me off plenty, Zeus. Now is your turn to die. So why don't you dissolve back into your heavens and lightning until you're completely gone from this world? Kainis, who is blessed with Poseidon's authority. Despite being Kirstavia's servant, you refuse to obey the gods or amend your foolish ways. Ultimately, your arrogance led to your defeat at Caldea's hands. Followed by your purging at the Oscuris. That much I foresaw. But your actions since then have been utterly incomprehensible. How did you not disappear? Why do you stand with Caldea? How did... No, never mind. You must have been given a path along those lines to follow. Impressive, what I am. Indeed. Now that I see this, I am hard pressed to find fault with you. You wanna know why I am standing with Caldea? Because you Olympians are all freaking idiots. But in paybacks for fooling out well, yeah? So that's what I decided to get for myself. I see. So you say the cause arrogance led to this situation, including your own destiny. What about you, Miyamoto Musashi? You are not a heroic spirit from proper human history. You two have been cast out from an excised history, just like Olympus and the Lost Belts. So why do you turn your sword against the gods? Huh? Because you're called the enemy? That's all the reason I need. As for whether proper human history deserves to be called that, or if the Lost Pass have a right to exist, or which one's right and which one's wrong, frankly, I can't be bothered to care. All I care about when I fight for another's sake is whether or not I can really, truly trust them. That's just the kind of person I am. I am a scandal at heart, after all. And right now, I will need my source for my own sake. 
to surpass the limits I've been trying to push up against my whole life. I thought you might be the opponent I was looking for at first, Zeus, but now I can see you're not. You're not the ultimate destination my source have been seeking. You're just a big obstacle on the way there. You're the shower of sparks I need to brush aside if I'm gonna keep moving forward. A shower of sparks. So that is what you would compare me to, source woman who travels with no destination? Me, the omnipotent god of the heavens. Then tell me, while you are here in Olympus, what will you do when you are confronted with flames that threaten to consume your body and soul? How will you defend yourself then? How will you continue to walk your own path? I'll force my way through no matter what it takes, of course. Be it the heavens or lightning or anything else, I'll cut down whatever blocks my path. And right now, that path leads towards the tree of emptiness, far above our heads. No, there was Atlas, the world tree, and the root of cosmic fantasy. And once I reach it, I'll cut down every last empty root is got. Oh ho. How truly fascinating. Humans, Hero experience the world from humans. You all think in different ways. You all carry different hopes and distress within your small, fragile bodies. Once, during the Leucus Machia, about 14,000 orbits ago, I, we, managed to defeat the titanic shadow Zephyr, the incarnation of ruin and death. Yes, this world, our world, was originally destined for ruin, and we saved it from that fate through our sheer strength. But you, proper human history, you are neither ruin, nor gods. You are not even ruin incarnate nor the divided spirits that are the gigantes. No, you are much, much smaller than that. You are weak, infinitesimal. So I ask you once again, humans of proper human history. Why? I must say, Zeus, for an omnipotent being, you certainly ask a great many questions. Is this your way of showing us compassion? Or perhaps you are merely reaffirming information you already know to be true. While well, I strongly suspect the latter in this case. Why? Why do you continue this journey? Why do you kill the Lost Belts and those of us who live in them? Especially now that this planet's humanity and history have all been wiped away as though they never existed. To take back our world. I see. To take back your world. So you are here to save this planet, to save all of proper human history. <laughs> Not this again. Yeah. You think this is funny? There's that pressure again. Hilarious. What a truly amusing bunch you are. It would be one thing if you wanted me to carry out your wishes for you. But you insist on carrying them out yourselves, with your trifling power, and at my Olympia Dorona Salzar. Indeed, it has been a long time since I laughed so hard. Yes, I see. Now it is clear to me how you defeated my daughter Artemis, my brother Poseidon, my sister Demeter, and my daughter Aphrodite. Their empty soulless metal hacks will n could never hope to defeat you. Not in the face of your gleaming and vast straightforwardness. Damn it! Is this gravity trick all you've got? This weight, it's like it's grinding my bones together. Mash, stay close to Brodak. Your protection ought to take some of the weight of her. At least I hope so. Right. Please stay close to me, master. If I were my proper human history self, Caldeans. I would surely have made you into constellations. But I am not. I may be generous, but I am not a god of mercy. I am a god who rules over humanity with mighty thunderbolts. Come to me, my Alethea. Great electricity, confirmed. Great demiurge, authenticated. Chronos Crown Synchronization complete. Deactivating Alethea's special camouflage. Setting special expansion to, to directly above Great Altar. Dated true form and designation, Zeus. Designated spirit origin, ancient god, ruler. Expanding. 
Expanding. Expanding. All intelligences in the vicinity are encouraged to leave immediately. Well then. That's a face. Up in the sky. Is the face of a giant god. It was the enormous face of a god. The massive structure made of divine steel truly seemed to stretch all the way to the heavens and beyond. This was the true visage of Almighty Zeus. This was the leader of the gods that reigned supreme over Olympus, the flagship of the fleet that had crossed the sea of stars long ago. This was the Aletheia that presided over lightning and the heavens, the mechanical god known as the all-powerful Demir Zeus. His name meant shine. This was the true king of the gods, the ruler of the heavens, and all natural phenomena. This was the great fortress that used all manner of authority and functionality to guide humanity. His desire to protect humans was genuine, but... Kneel before me. Worship me. For I am the almighty Zeus. That's the real Zeus. The more flexible interstellar combat annihilation fortress. He is the one who came to possess all 12 Olympian authorities by taking control of the Kronos Crown. An invincible, unstoppable fortress. Don't even think about trying to attack him. Just focus on defending and surviving. Try to hang in there until we can activate Ether. I am the heavens. I am thunder. I am the omnipotent god who rules over it all from boundless space. I am the one who shall save Earth. Mythology will rule once more. Very well, Zeus. Now let me ask you some questions. What are your intentions with the roots of cosmic fantasy that have all that has spread all across Earth? What are your intentions with Tree of Emptiness Magalan, or as you call it, Atlas the World Tree? We know it is both the linchpin that creates lost spells and enables them to sustain their existence, and a catalyst for the foreign god to descend upon this planet. So I ask, do you plan to share your reign over Earth with the foreign god? Seeing as you are indeed an omnipotent god, are you willing to rule in tandem with a god who is most likely not even from your pantheon? No, of course not. Silence. I knew it. You are a dangerous one, Sage. So the reason why he cursed him is because nah, I don't want I don't want you figuring out what I actually plan to do. Nah. -uh. You must not look at me. You must not look at the gods. Your very eyes are a threat to this world. Because he you know he's going to figure out a lot of stuff. So like nope. I'm not allowing this. Don't try to change the subject. Also, may I remind you, even now I am still under your curse. What is it you are thinking, almighty god? What are you planning to do with the foreign god? Ah, you tiny insignificant beings. Your existence has helped me realize many things. It would be far too cruel to burden such tiny beings as yourselves with the weight of the world. I will never let it weigh on my people's shoulders. Humans, you need not worry or resist or think. All you need be is obedient reads. I alone shall think. I alone shall worry. All you need do is exist. All you need do is smile. All you need do is worship me. Proper human history. Thinking reads. Fools who care who carries the black light. Those who are to be feared. Sleep. When you awaken once again, you may bear witness as I bring about mythology's restoration. Oh, 
Okay. Battle time. Uh, give me Avengers, please. At this moment. I just need Avengers. Okay. Let's start putting the seas. going to put this on Dantes. I'm going to put... Mm. I'm going to put this, why not? And Saldiri will have fan arts. CE, which will be type of blue. Sure. And can match for you at the hair Kira CE, I wonder. Yes you can. Nice. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Coach, eh, we can keep this. We can keep it. This is a force battle. This is just a force battle. We need just to do four turns. All we need to do is survive. Avenger squad, yeah. I mean, we're fighting a ruler. Might as well bring in the Avengers. <laughs> no. So yeah, but enemies with multiple targets. In this battle, a massive enemy with multiple targets will appear. You can only attack targets whose status indicator is lit up. Defeat the enemy by reducing a certain target's HP to zero. So okay, we got Zeus, Zeus, Uranus, and Zeus Gaia. Yeah. Of course this isn't working. Okay, now we put here. Now you're here. Okay. Now we go to Gaia. This turn, I should finish this force battle, scripted battle. Okay. 
There we go. Simple easy battle. Okay, we're going to take a break right here. Okay, we are going to continue reading after the break. Okay, just as usual, going to get something to drink, uh, something to eat, and be right back in a couple of minutes. Now, uh, now th as a heads up, I'm going to start running a a bit of ads right now while I'm taking the break because for those that don't know I became an affiliate like uh, on Friday so I can now run ads so if you excuse me I'm going to run a couple of ads in the meantime while I'm away it's not going to be long but uh it's not going to be like a lot hopefully but uh for anybody that may come in later they won't get ads that's pretty much how it works for m that's pretty much how this works so, be right back later.
Okay. <coughs> I am back. So let's continue, shall we? Okay. Let's do this. No battles, so only dialogue. Okay, let's see. Set and shield to maximum output. Stabilizing bunker bolt. Maintaining optimum defensive position. Maintaining or next maximum output across all dive trains. <coughs> Goddess of Nike, of victory. Where were the ages? The greatest shield in all of Greek mythology. If your power truly resides within me, then please, lend it to me now. Athena! It's working. It's working. The shield is working. Oh ho. A conceptual defense, hmm? So you still speak. So you still live. Every single one of these lightning bolts contains such a vast amount of magical energy. If I didn't have Athena's protection, they would vaporize me, body and soul. But this isn't over yet. Whatever else happens, I won't let go of this shield. I can't. Even if I am a fake servant who is still hopelessly naive about everything. If nothing else, this shield still belongs to Galahad, a true heroic spirit. That's right. Athena's Aegis is the greatest conceptual defense in all of Greek mythology, isn't it? I definitely didn't expect you to be this incredibly effective. But even so, I'm not sure it's gonna be enough. Master Shield might have been temporarily transformed into a divine artifact, but her and Product's magical energy is still being worn away. It's like trying to stand your ground inside a storm. There's no way they can keep it up forever. What do we do? How can we defeat a genuine god? He deflects everything we throw at him. I didn't think such an impenetrable defense was even possible. Yes, how many layers of conceptual defense does he have piled on top of him? We got to keep it up until they activate ether. Right. Yeah. Damn it. He can't stabilize my spirit origin. What the hell's with this lightning? I've been using my secret armor's protection this whole time. But his lightning keeps getting in the way of everything. Damn it. Kainis can't make full use of her power here either. And Holmes and Lord Caligula look like they can so much as but. We're not just being kept on the defensive. We got no moves we can even make. I don't know if this god is actually conceptually omnipotent or just has almost unlimited functionality available to him. But there's no denying that Smack God, that Smack all lining bastards hopefully is strong. Holy. I see. So you are indeed using Aegis. I gave that shield to my daughter myself. That certainly explains its durability. Great Demir's battle has exceeded expected duration. Enemy hostiles remain intact. Revaluating enemy defensive capabilities. Temporarily expanding annihilation combat functionality. Requesting authority limiter deactivation. Requesting temporary deactivation of Great Compound Authority Data Loma Kill Limiter. Approved. Requesting temporary deactivation of Great Compound Authority Gigantoma Kill Limiter. Approved. Shit. So there's even more to Zeus power? We don't know exactly what this Compound Authority may entail. But given that we had to master all the resources just to survive against machine guns with only one authority at their command, I have a very bad feeling about this. I must protect our city. I must protect our people. I must protect all of Olympus. For even the authority over the land and the harvest can no longer replenish the souls my thunderbolts incinerate. However, it seems I have no choice. Deactivating intelligent life from conservation function. You mean you were still holding back on us? You bastard! Requesting the activation of Karaunos Final Adjustment Function Limiter. Approved. Deactivating Anti-Planet Destruction Mechanism Limiter. 
Did he just say empty planet? Deactivating anti-star system. Annihilation mechanism limiter. Deactivating anti-space time. Attack mechanism limiter. Deactivating anti-concept. Shattering mechanism limiter. He's going non-stop on this. Anti-star system, space time, concept? But that would mean... Yeah. Everything. Be gone. Maintain your Arcanax output at 70%. Output stable. Spirit Origin Awakening Rate remains above standard parameters. Banker Bolt is locked and stabilized. Maintain in maximum defensive position. Whatever happens, we'll face it together. Thank you, Senpai. Mash! Prodac! Zeus definitely isn't bluffing. This magical energy he's putting out is two, three. Damn it, I can't even count how many orders of magnitude greater it is. Zeus. Supreme being of pre mythology, an all powerful god. Do you truly mean to destroy this world? To destroy all of creation? No, I can tell this isn't right. This isn't what you truly want. Surely you will never choose allegiance to an enigmatic tree of emptiness over Earth. Tell me, King of the Gods. Tell me, Zeus, nigh omnipotent mechanical god. What is it that is driving you? Silence. Sage. You will speak no more. This is my shame. My choice. My powerlessness. Before Redacted appears. Within the tree of emptiness. I will claim every spirit and within it for myself. If nothing else. I will at least save my city. I will let escape from this planet to the sea of stars. I will at least preserve the traces of my beloved people. I will keep them a shrine among the age of gods. What did he say? He's going... To escape from Earth. So you are choosing to make this lost into a colony? And to set off for another space foreign journey? To abandon all of Earth's life forms and take nothing with you but mere traces of their existence? Indeed. That is the mentality of gods. It is a sign of gratitude for the intelligent beings who, who proclaimed us to be gods. Ah, my beloved world. Ah, my beloved new home. Forgive me, Kirstaria, my friend. For I am about to take all of Atlas with me. 35% of all Great Demiurge Function Authorities release. Parallel activation of Great Compound Authority successful. Preparing to activate Karaunas Final Adjustment functionality. Initiating Final Adjustment. Standing by for Great Demiurge Activation Countdown. Attention all intelligence in Olympus. Attention all life forms on this planet. The final adjustment will soon be activated. All intelligence and life forms will seek to function. Thank you for your existence. Humans. Multitudinous life forms. Farewell. Farewell, my ass! King Tokyo's armor! Cool, then! The blade on the arm was enormous steel fist. Sank deep in the god's cheek. Though the blade was repelled by the countless authorities protecting the god, the undeterred resolution behind the blow struck was still enough to inspire the humans and heroic spirits witnessing it. It was a defiant fist, Aimed at the god, threatening that permanent goodbye. The last bit of assistance offered to the forces protecting humanity. 
Please, bear. Please let us your strength one last time. You got it, Adele. I'm gonna buy you the last bit of time you need. So you can cast your special grand summon that'll knock Zeus flat in this metallic ass. Insolence. Authority activated. Prepare you now to retaliation defenses to demolish target. Authority. Hades. Dissolve target matter into component atoms. Hmm. Foolish human child. None can endure the heavens. Yeah, you might be right. There's definitely no way I can beat you by myself. But you know, Zeus old pal, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say... Someone who comes from the same place as you do, maybe their face will be able to reach you. <coughs> maybe they'll even be able to punch your goddamn lights out. Impossible. Golden. We'll see about that. See? We've got a giga spell here that combines the spirit core fragments from no less than eight heroic spirits, including a few electric ones, a wooden one, and a Mahatma one. And on top of that, we've also got a materialization guide made from a Roman heroic spirit spawns for good measure. Now watch what happens when it all comes together. Grand Electric Guided Chain Summon. I am Ares, god of war. In place of a fist, a gleaming crimson blade now bore down upon the god's cheek. In place of the crumbling armor stood a figure not from the lost belt, but from the far bounds of proper human history. A crimson god of war. Behold, Zeus. Hector the Shining Helmet, great hero of Troy, made a brilliant appearance at the Sea of Atlantis. We will do no less, even if we must cross the boundaries of principle and reason, chaos and order themselves. Now I, Ares, god of war, stand before you. Crimson Ares. No, you are not the Ares I knew. You are the one from proper human history. Indeed I am. In Rome I was known as Mars, the Crimson Demiurge. When I first came to this land as Ares, the god of war, I frightened humans, and they shunned me in return. However, it was also humans who knew what sort of god I was, and gave my light regardless. Thus I am now both Ares and Mars, a god who came to know love through humans' love for him, and who now returns that feeling in kind. Has this mean Aether activated? So this is our trump card. We fight a machine god with a machine god. With help like this, we definitely ought to have a better than zero chance of winning. <coughs> How impudent. A machine god that has already fallen to me once before. The most you can hope to achieve is one surprise strike. Wrong. You are wrong. Grand Summon Article Ether is the embodiment of our wish to bring down Zeus. It has more than one summon up its sleeve. Do it, Macarius. Five layers of Aether's final activation have finished. Opening final spell layer. Now, all we need are the right catalysts, and we'll be able to materialize our final summon. At last, the time is at hand. Now that I stand before Mars, Rome's glorious god of wars, I can finally fulfill the true purpose of my materialization within this lost belt. Oh, Zeus, king of the gods, listen well. You are indeed the god of lightning. The supreme being that ties all of Greece's great mythology together. Thus, it is all Rome, a fellow Mediterranean civilization of equally grand steam, that is best suited to stand against you. Rome is home to three great demiurges, one of which is the same mass that stands before you now, and the other. Oh, twins of Olympus, now is the time for the final summon. And you, Master of Chaldea, as one born to proper human history, 
I ask that you be the one to guide me. Caligula. It's time, baby. Grand Summon Article Aether. Final Summon. Begin in Final Summon. Alright. There it is. So an arrow 3, which is the actual battle proper, I imagine. Okay. Nothing happens when Zeus bars are broken, surprisingly. But uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. This, there is more below. Sorry. There is more below. It just there's a lot of text. Okay. Uh, passive. The waifu process starts A plus. Damage against star with the servants, sure. Special resistance up. Yeah. We need to take out Zeus, Uranus, and Gaia. Yeah. Chief cost is SNCX. Immunity to was poison burn. Cursed charm and all types of delayed BD buffs. Sure. Uh, decreases all enemies' attack. Critical damage and NP damage for one turn. Sure. Uh, at the start of the first turn, Zeus gains no defense and attack up, four stacks, permanent and removable. <coughs> uh, at the start of the first turn, Zeus gains no evasion, critical rate up to stacks, and critical damage up to stacks. Okay. Mm, NP deals damage to all enemies, reduces the star generation, and NP generation for three turns. S active skills. Okay. Uh, attack, critical damage, and MP damage down for one turn. Increases defense by 50 and damage cost to 10k for one turn and defense for three turns. Uh, chaos status. Chance to skill seal for one turn for two turns. And debuff resistance down to all enemies. Okay. Uh, authority of lightning inflicts stun and discharge to a random enemy. This charge is after one turn, 50 chance to stun the other two frontline enemies, which were not targeted by their effect originally. I see. A 30 of the sky, grants itself evasion one turn. Okay, now. By breaking the first bar, inflict skill seal and NP seal one turn to all allies. I by breaking the second bar, charges on NP to max. And uh, Zeus, Uranus, and Gaia return to the battlefield. Each NP will provide either Zeus Uranus and Zeus Gaia, or both. Jesus, this is a big battle indeed. <coughs> okay. I see. There is a lot to keep in mind for this battle. Thanks to the great summoning circles arranged throughout the interstellar city of Olympus. Great summon article ether absorb both endless amounts of magical energy from the infinity crystal and endless amounts of true ether from the, atmo from the atmosphere. Now at last, the result was about to manifest upon the altar of a foreign land's god. We are sorry we could not be here sooner. This was the last ray of hope the heroic spirits of the Alliance had left behind. The final key needed to slay Zeus. The path that would lead to a new tomorrow. But worry not. The being who stood there now was once the founding king of all of Rome, a man sublimated with lightning who ascended to supreme godhood. A soul of proper human history who became the ultimate being of his civilization's myth, despite being born a human. From now on, we, the holy progenitor and supreme god of Rome, will be here by your side.
There he is. There is room. Wait, I know you. We have come to you to we have come to you now as a grand servant. This spirit origin bestowed upon us is by humanity by humanity possesses arms of light the grand lances. Our arms reach to the sky, all light shall seize the heavens. We are Grand Lancer. Our true name is Romulus Quirinus. Roma Holy Progenitor Romulus Romans, our children, you have endured well. You persevere even in the face of a curse that threatens to take humanity's precious light. We heard your wish clearly. Indeed, it has been plain to us all this time. Now the miracle you have long awaited has at last come to be. We are here. Now. Let us defeat the imperious heavens and shatter this false sky, children of Rome. Ah. Romans! Supreme Deity Quirinus. The only human who disappeared into lightning and ascended to Supreme Deity. So you are the one they summoned. Now I see. So that was their game. The final phase of Operation God Destroyer was never meant to summon another ancient god. It was meant to summon a new god. One who could blaze a path towards a new future. A new god? Perhaps you may recall one of Nikola Tesla's many spirited speeches of the myth of humanity? Well, a strong argument could be made that Quirinus, the divine spirit, is its symbol. Born a demigod, he wielded godlike power even as he held onto his human roots. He is the very picture of one who cast off an old era to force new legends. In a sense, his story is even akin to a retelling of Gilgamesh, the original king of heroes. <laughs> That's truly fascinating. I can think of no figure more suitable to show this omnipotent god of light in the door. Well done, God Destroyer Alliance. Well done indeed. Romance. You have fought well. From now on, we shall be with you. Come, let us save the world together. You got it. You need a sack for this. No, it's not just that. All four posts of magical energy are resting tremendously. With this much energy at our command. Our next output resting rapidly. Now, at 300%. Auto maintenance functionality is still operational. Seal remains in good condition. Switching modes from maximum defensive position to attack position. Ready to engage in anti divinity combat, master. Got it. This is where the real god destroying begins. Listen well, my romance born of humanity. Listen well, children of love, affection, and connection. Now is the time for battle. You are to fight, to win, and to live. Shut up, I'm not a Roman. I'm Kainis, and there's only one of me in the whole damn world. But for now, okay. I'll judge your little army just this once. And once they kill Zeus, there'll be no more pain in the ass dead to worry about. Let's go! You heard the gods, ladies and gents. It's time to hit Zeus with everything we've got left. Let the final phase of Operation God Destroyer begin. Alright, bring it. We can only big Romulus Quirinus. Please set masses as a starting member. That I will. Okay. <coughs> uh we're going to change homes to somebody else. I think Ekchan could do work. She could do some decent work. 
and we're going to give the mystery code and we're going to give it a shot the real Zeus battle begins now Holy. In this battle, our skills will be available in place of the master skills associated with your mystic code. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Decreases the speed of a single enemy. Last chance is target one enemy one position above and decreases the defense of all two segments. This is the same part for the position below. And this is this is one buff of all two segments and increase attack and increase in pickups for all allies. Got it. So let's use Let's fight Gaia. No, Uranus. Uh, yeah, Uranus is the top, Gaia is the bottom. Got it. <coughs> Bring it. And what is this? Well, if I attack Arbantes against Ruler Class. Okay. Uh, what were your skills again? I need to remember. Attack, critical strength for all allies, critical strength of all Rome allies, apply Rome trade to all enemies. Okay, second skill is invincible, two times three turns, increase in pigas for yourself and gain stars. Okay. And bus circle effectiveness. Three star guard raid and a player state that applies roam trade five turns to a single enemy during critical attacks for yourself. I see. One down. And now we switch to Gaia. Sure. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> increase gain, sure. Uh, what happened again if we break the first bar? Okay, yes. Skill seal and seal. Okay. Just that. Simple as that. Quite simple. Let's see... Oh, 
Oh my gosh, perfect. Okay, we can just do this. It will hurt a lot. At least I think. Yeah. Some decent damage. Well, so much for targeting that to Romulus. Romulus is out. We need to be careful on this. If it rich, it will be impressive. It didn't quit. <laughs> ah, so close though. Okay. This will hurt. Okay. Hessian Lobo and Hechan left. We need to bring in the others first. We need to bring them down. Nice. One down. Okay. Now we push it down. Both down. Got it. I turn us down, unfortunately. But uh, at least we try with that. Okay. Okay, Lobo, it's time for you to finish this off. Hopefully. This should do some damage. Ooh, 
cazador. Yeah. Got it. We did it. We won. Great job. <laughs> we defeated Zeus. Hell yeah. Impossible. I am omnipotent and yet you heard me. What are you? This will not stand. Here's a little something I can only pull off here and now thanks to Greenus protecting us. Litany Tyrael, Ultimate Art. Oika Suchi Kurikara. Poseidon Maelstrom Well in a quite literal sense Only God knows what his anti-dimensional Anti-dimensional anti-star system attacks may be like He hasn't resorted to any of them And indeed, thanks to the protection of Grand Lancer Supreme Deity Grenus our attacks are at least able to penetrate Zeus' defenses. This may just do the trick. Per aspera ad astra. <laughs> Am I taking damage? Am I suffering injury? How? Lord Zeus, Lady Europa, Lord Zeus, please, I implore you to stop this. These children refuse to give up on their dream of seeing a true tomorrow. You should be blessing them for that, not cursing them. I know you are capable of that, my beloved Zeus. All you said about saving the world, that is what you truly desire, is it not? Europa. I know you, my beloved Zeus, whether in proper human history or this lost belt. You have always loved me. No, not just me. All humans. So then, what difference can there be between a human and a god? Humans and gods are nothing alike. The only gods who can love humans are those who have fallen beyond repair. As for you, my Europa. I am not the Zeus you once loved. Be gone. Zeus so magical energy is rising. I think it's about to activate an offensive authority. But inversely, his outer shell's magical energy density is dropping. Master! He switches his magical energy source over to his own body. If his multi layer authority shell has, has weakened, then this is our last, best chance to take him down. Now, children of Caldea, get ready to fire, Mash. Black barrel connection complete. Fine position is clear. Releasing Paradox Effector. Beginning countdown. Initiate an accomplishment measure. Ascertaining Zeus' life scale. 6,000. 4. 2. Uh, huh? 1,000. Never mind, everything's fine. Beginning black barrel transformation. Preparing to burn the dead counter into the gun barrel. Zeus' destiny has been measured. Preparing dead counter to turn it from a speculation into reality. Bunker ball is at its limit. Gun barrel is fully stabilized. In media synchronization with barrel replica complete. <coughs> Only the synchronization rate is at 50%, 60, 70, 80%. Master, please load the command spell. This is it, our last command spell bullet.
Command spell loaded. Initiate embargo replica of spiritual acceleration. Third spiritual acceleration zone reach. Command spell magical energy ball transformation complete. God destroyer round is ready to fire, master. Fire. Right in the eye. Kaboom. <laughs> there it is. We won against Zeus. Void. Chapter twenty two. No battles at all in this chapter. Hmm. Let's do this. Zeus. You and I did agree on one thing, to resurrect the Age of Gods. But since your ultimate objective was to escape Earth, to leave these planets behind and return to space, we were never going to fully see eye to eye. It didn't have to be this way. I, I could have gotten behind your plan if you had made Olympus into a new kind of starship and brought its people along with you on your journey. But instead, you plan to abandon even the very people who named you a god in the first place. Once your vision was no new age of gods, it was a dead end, just like what the gods of proper human history left behind. It's a shame, my friend, that even Queen Europa, a heroic spirit of proper human history, was able to inspire a change of heart in you. Then again, perhaps this all stems from the ancient curse you've been carrying all this time. Even with all the functionality of every ship in your interstellar fleet at your command, you still couldn't disobey your primordial father's directive. It's a great pity, Zeus. Or chaos, I should say. Man, that's quite the blue, that's quite the hole. The great Demiurge has gone silent. The great Demiurge's divine core is falling apart. Kronos crown damage, shutting down. Infinity crystal connection deactivating. The great Demiurge is no longer able to maintain his Aletheia. Damage to space-time linking crystals sync to divine core. Warning! Warning! Corona's final adjustment functionality has been accessed from the source. A permanent space-time fall is about to occur. Please be wary of space-time quakes. What is going on? We finally killed that piece of shit, right? There shouldn't be any more damn machine gods left. And I doubt the lost spell itself is falling apart seeing how the tree of emptiness is fine. So what gives? I'm not detecting magical energy. Atmospheric magical energy density levels are still at normal Olympus values. But then, what are we seeing? It almost looks like there are cracks forming in space itself. Look to the heavens. There is something there within the fold that lies even beyond the space-time distortions. The heavens. Oh damn. The space we're standing under splits a bar. The heavens above us crack open. There, an impossible sight lays bare to see. 
Something on the other side of the gap that seems as though it were forcefully twisted open. I can't believe it. A thing peering down on us from a gap in the distorted sky. It's an eye. A great eye in the sky staring down at Earth. It's a giant eye. I don't know how I can tell. But I'm positive that it's looking at us. No. No. It can't be. Ugh. What is it? What's got Eri so shaken up? Well, here's something I never thought I'd hear myself say. Please, Mr. God of War, try to calm down. Wait, on second thought, do you know what that thing up there is? You... You've been in that rift this whole time? They are the very first starship. The source of all the Olympians, a colossal interstellar mothership. And the oldest machine god of them all. Chaos. That's chaos. A solitary being fires from the eye, traveling faster than light. Only Quirinus and the Crimson Machine God could react in time. They both moved immediately to defend against the impossibly swift threat. Quirinus put up a, one a bounded field to protect the Chaldeans, while the Crimson Machine God used his own body, a set of armor made from hull, the adamant steel, and reinforced with conceptual defense, to block the attack. And then, Lord Quirinus! What happened to Ares? Huh? Ares really have completely disappeared. What just happened? He died saving your lives. His spirit origin has already been vaporized. He was killed by a ray of sunlight. Great authority that even exists that of Apollo in his prime. So this I can wield the authority of machine guns that no longer exist? But I thought that functionality was restricted solely to Zeus. No, wait. Eris said the thing was called chaos. Then that would mean the true nature of the being peering down on us from a crack in the sky is the source of every god in all of Greek mythology. Chaos! Chaos? As in confusion? Not quite, master. Well, they do use the term chaos in scientific circles to describe impregnable situations, that's extremely modern usage of the word. In Greek mythology, Chaos is the largest, most ancient god of all. And their name means hole in the sky. A void. A void. That thing is nothing less than a colossal interstellar mothership. The spherical space time fortress known as Chaos. You are the being from which all of the machine gods originated. The truth is that all twelve Olympias, including Zeus, were nothing more than a way for Chaos to divide their countless functions. They are the source of the Titans, Olympus, and every machine god. They are a supernatural god that has become one with the gaps of our universe's space-time. Their core is the very eye you see peeking out there from within the rift. The truly massive shield that makes up their colossal body, uses a star from an ancient distant system for its core. In terms of sheer scale, this god of the heavens far surpasses our entire planet. A colossal structure covering a star? You mean like a Dyson Sphere? A Dyson Sphere, originally named for the physicists who conceived it, is a, is a theoretical construct of an artificial structure designed to completely cover a star in order to make use of its energy. But you're now saying such a sphere truly exists and has for eons at that. That would make chaos here a god that embodies every concept and natural phenomenon under the sun. No, even that fails to do justice. We're now up against a star capable of covering every centimeter of the sky. So what's this thing only showing up now? To protect Zeus? No, Zeus' divine core is well and truly gone. Just as a heroic spirit cannot maintain their existence without their spirit core. <coughs> Neither can a god maintain their body without their divine core. That's right, Lord Zeus is no longer with us. I expect that chaos there has shown themselves in order to carry out Lord Zeus's will in his stead. But this is all wrong. Lord Zeus wished to preserve this civilization, to keep it alive as long as possible. 
However, Chaos has no particular feelings towards Earth. Chaos highest priority is preserving the fleet. So Chaos meant to absorb not just Olympus, but every resource on this planet's surface. And return to voyaging across the sea of stars. But, uh, this is terrible. There is no longer anything there. There is nothing and no one left where Chaos resides. All that remains there is... A gap in the cosmos. Chaos, the primordial god. In Greek mythology they are said to be the source of the gods. No more than that. They are the source of all on Earth. It never occurred to me that their true ident identity would be a titanic rend in the universe itself. A massive eye that peers down on this planet from a gap in the very fabric of space. What's more, they now wish to revert this planet to its primordial state and return to the sea of stars. He's coming again. Well then, that's something. Hmm, okay. Okay. Uh Let's see. So from here on well, not exactly from here on, but the majority of the chapters from now on are going to be mostly dialogue. There are no big battles yet. There are like two big battles, I think. Or three. Yeah. One, two, uh, and three. Yeah, three big battles. But two of them happens in one chapter and the last one happens in the chapter 26. From what I'm saying, so yeah. There's going to be a lot of talking now. Okay. <coughs> well then. The quest has no battles. Subjects and civilization. Irrelevant. Intelligence and minds. Irrelevant. Prosperity. Ruin. Irrelevant. Primordial chaos reactivation confirmed. All components will be deemed unnecessary. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. Chaos has manifested. They will soon begin harvesting the planet's resources, and will then revert the planet's surface to its primordial state. In accordance with the Interstellar Migration Treaty, 37% of this unregistered planet's volume will be consumed. All intelligent life forms on this planet are encouraged to evacuate immediately. Setting aside the self-serving nature of that announcement, as well as the timeline in details, it sounds as though Chaos intends to scoop out 37% of her surface. What's the point of unbleaching the Earth if it's just gonna have a huge gaping hole in it? Indeed, suffice to say, if Chaos is successful, Earth will no longer be a suitable planet for human life. Well, hang on. It doesn't seem like it's going to attack us, right? Chaos perceives the universe on, on a vastly greater scale than Zeus. I suspect they are not even aware of us. The magical energy they fired at us was more akin to a reflex. They don't mean to attack us. Their only intention is to make off with this planet's surface, lost better and all. And set sail on another voyage across the sea of stars. So they just wanna turn us into fuel or some shit for an interstellar pressure cruise? Screw that noise. I don't know who this chaos bitch thinks they are, but I'm sure as shit not letting that happen. 
That's right. We still haven't cut down the tree of emptiness. We can't afford to stop now. The black bar has sustained damage. The Orinex total output has fallen below 50%. But the auto maintenance function is still working. We can temporarily boost output to 60% for combat. But still remains intact. And Aegis protection is still in, in effect. The only question is, how do we fight that thing? Right. I'm afraid we can't. It must be at least 20,000 meters away from us. We simply have no way of reaching it. And even if we could, we would need to fight them inside that rift. And fighting in outer space is uncharted territory, even for heroic spirits like us. Even if there were a space faring heroic spirit here, the battle would be over by the time they were to reach chaos. Goetia, the king of demon gods, managed to store all the magical energy of human history in bands of light. But even if we had equivalent energy at our disposal, he would still be unable to destroy chaos. That... that can't be. Excuse me, Mr. Holmes. I have a question. Go on. Remind me, are these machine guns different from conceptual ones? They aren't. It's difficult to convey accurately. But they're closely need to gods born from deified natural phenomena. So while they are fundamentally dissimilar to natural gods, they still function as gods who preside over nature and various phenomena. I'm afraid I can't explain it any better than that. Do you understand now, Miss Miyamoto? I see, I see. So they're basically still natural phenomena, huh? Great, no problem then. I might not have, I might not have been able to beat Zeus on my own, but I can totally take this cross thing. This chaos thing. Musashi. Wow, Musashi, that's amazing. But are you sure? Cut the shit. I know you wanna put on a brave face, but this ain't the time for jokes. Thank you, Kainis. That may be the first helpful assertion you've made since we first met. Miss Miyamoto, I'm afraid that regardless of how exemplary your sword skills may be, there is simply no way you can destroy that enormous mass from... Who said anything about destroying it? That overgrown temple up there usually sticks to its own side of the universe and never interferes with ours, right? The only reason it's able to stick its uh, pupil into your business now is because of that hole up there. So in that case, all I've got to do is get rid of the hole. I might not be able to destroy the eye, but I can close the windows looking through, so to speak. True, but the problem is that hole is not a window. It's a hole in space itself. I don't have absence of form. It is a void. Miss Miyamoto. She can cut through void. Now you've got it. I finally figured out why I've kept popping up around you guys all this time. <laughs> I know I said there was something out there I still yet to slice. But I never thought I'd find it here. Wait. Hang on. Nope. Sorry. We don't have time to wait for permission from some high and mighty official. Not my style. Every heroic spirit here gave everything they had to save proper human history. I might not be f from there myself, but it's not like I have anywhere else to go right now. And hey, remember what I told you before? And how I got to Olympus ahead of you guys? I've tried lots of times to get back to my own world, only to end up drifting into all sorts of others. When I get to the boundary between worlds, there's a light field I always end up falling through. You can see hundreds of entrances to all sorts of worlds. They're beneath your feet. So I'd always pick one and jump in, thinking that would be the one that finally gets me home. But I always just ended up in a different world each time. That's how I happened to run into you in Shimosa. Oh, though we did have that really close call back in the American desert, desert didn't we? Man, that place was a blast. But anyway, the more I drifted, the fewer entrances were left with each trip. It's no surprise, really. I knew that eventually. There wouldn't be a world left that would accept me. There is no place for you in any world. I mean, it only figures, right? The Japan I came from was long since thrown away. Looking back on it now, it must have been a lost spell itself. And so, I became a wandering, drifting through space-time. I kept voyaging into all sorts of worlds under the pretense of finding my way home. And kept getting kicked out. Sometimes, when I found myself in a really nice world, I'd even try to settle down there. I didn't want to face reality. 
My options were dwindling rapidly, and I didn't want to deal with it. Then, when you said you stopped ending up in other worlds, she meant that this one would be her final stop. Coming here was her fate. When I first heard about her condition in Russia, and how this was the only world she had ever revisited via Shimosa, I knew that this would happen someday. Sadly, Miss Miyamoto's world hopes are not infinite, but... Never mind that. Oh my, so angry. Thank you, Brodak. Thank you for getting so angry on my behalf. But this is my karma, and my time to shine. Plus, you know how I am. Brodak, now that you and I form such a close bond, I'm going to make sure I do you proud with this one last thing. Yeah, that's right. This is where my journey comes to an end. And I couldn't ask for many final opponents more worthy than a giant mechanical sky god. Besides, once I perfected my zero sword, I always knew I someday wanted to take it even further. So I made my decision. No more bouncing from world to world for me. What happens here, happens. Woohoo! Hold up, you can't face that thing alone. What just a done minute, Musashi? Oh, sorry we're late. But we finally made it to the Great Shrine's airspace. <laughs> Who cares about Susan and his overblown sparks? He's not making my hair stand on end today. After a fierce and daring battle against the Sus terminal trying to keep us away from the shrine, we're here and ready to back you up. The stone border. Perfect. That's what the sword fighter ordered. Wait. There's what in the in blue blazes is going on here? When I had Captain enabled the border secret yet, feature to bring us up past the clouds. The last thing I expected to find was a crack in the sky? What is that thing up in the stratosphere? And is it just me? What is it the most terrifying enemy we faced? I can't get a read on its magical energy. It's got to be either a divine spear or a machine god. You got it, Da Vinci. That thing is the original chaos. It's the literal model of all machine gods, including the Death Olympians themselves. Now they say they are going to dissolve and absorb almost half the planet's resources before just setting sail on a voyage across the Sea of Stars. Talk about a pain in the ass to eat, yeah? So it's going to slurp up the whole planet? Can it just transform anything into magical energy? Well, I return to starboard. Let's just go back to the ground and pretend we never saw a thing. Sorry, can't let you do that. Hop. Musashi, get back here. <laughs> As it has ever worked on me before, I don't even go back to restaurants to pay my checks. Just keep the ship headed for that fisher director. I've got a special move that'll take care of this in a flash. What are you saying? Surely that can't be possible. Go on, Podak, say something. Is there anything? W is there any way she could possibly pull this off? Don't ask me. I knew it. Fortunately, as you can see, I always make it a point to keep a level head. And right now, my level head is telling me this nightmare I've seen before me could actually destroy the world. Technically, adv technical advisor, administrative advisor. Which one do I believe? Me, of course. Besides, in the first place. Warning. Warning. Initiation resor resource collection procedures. All intelligent lifeforms, please close your eyes and relax. Beginning for shutdown of all lifeforms functions. Reverting planet to primordial state. Initiating countdown. Thank you, primordial mothership chaos. And have a wonderful journey. So it's counting down the seconds until the entire planet is returned to its primordial state? That's the final warning. If you don't do something fast, chaos will activate the Chronos crown. And disassemble everything on Earth, physically and conceptually, into their component spiritrons. From there, it's only a matter of time until the planet eventually dies. See, we don't have time to think about this. Then we'll fight it all together. Senpai's right. Please come back, Musashi. With the border here now, we still have other options available to... Suck it up, you two. You're being silly. You think I don't know all that? This is the best option. The only option. Believe me, I don't want to do this. But I want not dying here is a lot more important to me. 
So please, you know we've been through a lot together. Just let me go. Let me do this. Are you going to take this one chance to go out doing something truly meaningful away from me? As my best master ever. Aren't you supposed to use a command spell or minecraft or something to back me up in, some, in a moment like this? Yeah, you're right. Go get him, Nita Nichirio! Alright, now that's what I'm talking about. Hey everyone inside the border, set across for that hole, full speed. But hang on, just a moment. Product is, is glaring at me, and I think she's crying too. This is Captain Nima speaking. I'm the captain of the storm border. Don't worry, Saber Miyamoto Musashi. I like the way up to the border's bow. And Max out his inertia control and repulsion conservation to keep you safe. The storm border may not be as strong as my father Poseidon. But with my Nautilus, the Shadow Border, and Hephaestus Power all helping out, we can still give him a run for his money. So I promise we'll get you to our, des for, to your destination, no matter how rough our cost may be. Thanks, that'll be a big help. It's definitely a little far to reach on my own, no matter how good with a sword I might be. It's been a long journey, wrestling people, monsters, and now gods. I finally encountered my destiny in the keep of Shimosa Stoke Castle, Toke Castle, where my sword at last reached, reached zero. After all that, I could wish for nothing more than to end this journey by setting up for one last selfless act. Truth be told, most of my journey was so pathetic that I'm glad no one was there to see it all. But like I think I told you before, the times when I got to fight alongside all of you were an exception. A female version of Musashi like me never really fit in anywhere. But with you guys, I finally got to fight for a decent cause. That's why I think I could have been a hero. One who could ever measure up to proper human history is Musashi. Okay, thanks for everything, Prodak. Do it, Captain. Roger that. Setting a course for the fissure in space time. Full speed ahead. Choking back tears. Current airspeed is twenty seven thousand kilometers per hour. But I still can get a read on our distance to target. I can see chaos with the naked eye, but they are still not registering on our sensors. Unless something changes, I don't think the storm border will ever make it to chaos. Not even if we had a million years. What do you mean? I can see it right there. Can we just keep heading straight for it? No, we can't. The only reason it looks that way to us is because all we have are our simple human senses to rely on, our on to perceive it. But this into chaos, or rather, the route to that void is actually absurdly complicated. Exactly. It might look like we're going in a straight line, but we're actually going every which way but straight ahead. Oh, I just took a look at our curse on the map, and it looks like some sort of jigsaw puzzle, and a three-dimensional one at that. Isn't there anything you can do about this, Captain? I do have a route plan out, thanks to the paper moon acting as our compass. We're following that route right now, and it's slowly but surely getting us closer to chaos. That being said, the paper moon's route to chaos will take us 62 hours times 672 attempts. Of course, the sound will never last that long. To say nothing to Miyamoto Musashi up there on the bow. Then what are we supposed to do? Let me just make sure of something, Da Vinci. Have you gotten the hang of piloting the storm border yet? Do you think you can operate this ship by yourselves? No, honestly, but yeah, I think I can manage. I'll never be able to leave this computer room again, though. Oh, and I think I'll also need the marines. I can manage assistance from here, okay? But I still need people to keep all the interior facilities clean. Got it, then I'll leave more clones behind. I'm sure I can. I'll make sure I do. 
Besides, they are not much more than extras. There's no need for them to come along with me. Captain? If our route to chaos is too long to traverse in reality space, then we'll take a shortcut through boy space. So I'll cut the distance down from infinite to finite by making a series of intermittent zero sales. What? You can't do that, Captain. Not even the Nautilus can handle some consecutive zero sales. Besides, the body is made for punching through boy space, not jumping through it like a flying fish. I can do it. I'll make it happen. I swear on both my Triton and Nemo Speed Origins. Whoa, whoa, calm now, Captain. You know you shouldn't be so quick to volunteer to risk your life. Wait, hang on. You... you don't mean... Yes, I do. Code off? This yours is yours now. Though I have to say, you seem like you'd be a lot more at home in the cockpit than the captain's chair. But you can be serious. You can't. No, no, I... I... Okay, I'm off to the engine room. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just think of this as the storm border gaining a new Triton engine. That will not be necessary. Why not, child of the sea? You may be sure in nature, but you are great nonetheless. We shall make a path for you. What the? I can't believe it! We've got a road! It's giving us a straight shot right to chaos, cutting through every layer of this cross-dimensional maze. We are Romulus Quirinus, allied to all the terrain to carve new paths on this world. We were saving the power left in this body for what comes after, but no more. We have decided to use all our remaining divine aura, and all our authority, to see you to your destination. Captain, wait! We can go straight there now! It's only 2,000 meters to chaos now. The board can get there in under 3 minutes. Yeah, no need for the report, Marine. I can see it for myself. What a beautiful view. It's like looking at an ocean of light. I couldn't have asked for a better stairway to the sun. How can I ever repay you? We may be a god, but we do not seek compensation. Neither will we see you throw your life away. Now go forth, gallant crew of the stone border, and reach the destination we all seek. That is why we were sent here. All roads lead to Rome. Who was that just now? Engine room. Crank the engines up to 120% output. I don't care if we end up stranded three minutes from now. We're going to get hit, hit to get this job done come hell or high water. Alright, bring it. Ah. Ah, this journey was so much fun. I'm so lucky I got another chance to keep traveling even after I met Maya and Ishimosa. I don't know who it was that gave me that chance, but whoever you are, thank you. Oh, but if it was humanity, then I take it back. I mean, it was humanity that made me an outcast. I'm a Musashi subject to pruning theoretical phenomenon, so I'll never get someone again once I disappear. I wish I could record this thought somewhere before it's gone. But that's probably easier said than done. But that's okay. Really. It's fine. After all, I made it this far. And I did it without changing who I am. That's all I need. Goodbye. Goodbye, Brodek. I might not have been able to pull it off myself. Hell, I never really even thought about trying to. But you'd better make sure you take back your world. Okay? Okay, now that I've said my goodbyes, it's time to become the ultimate sword. This battle is what my heavenly eye was made for. Hear me now, kaleidoscope of all things in this world that are born, grow and multiply. I will sever every path, cut off every branch, and draw forth the knoll that lies at your essence. I will slice off every bit I possibly can, then continue to slice off to slice off what remains. Thus I shall become ultimate, I shall become the heavens, but even that is not enough to fulfill my dream, so I will smash through the wall of the heavens and glare at what lies beyond. Once I have severed the formless, the void, the face of pure nothing, 
Then I shall become the Buddha's sword and slice through destiny itself. Namo Tenman Dai uh, Sai Tenjin. Now is the time for me to use everything I've got. This is a target, redacted. We'll need to punch through several layers of space acting like a banner field. Brace for impact. We have still three, four, five impact left. Make sure you don't fall off. Current speed, 29,000 kilometers per hour. Temperature of the outer hole is 400 degrees Celsius and rising. Musashi, are you still there? Are you still alive? Even at this speed, we still can get close to it. It's a lot farther away than it looks. It'll take 20... no, 30 seconds until we reach the fissure in space. Can you hang in there until then, Musashi? Uh, Musashi? Of course I can, Captain. Don't worry about me. Just keep punching it. Keep the bow bunted up and all the engines at full throttle. We're going to do this thing in style. You got it. Setting an elevation angle to 10 degrees. Once we get above the bounded field, it'll be up to you. Chaos, sorry for the late introduction. Hopefully you won't mind if I let my source do the talking. This is nothing. Yikes, that was close. Don't tell me I'm gonna get shut down before we get close enough to make my move. I won't let that happen. The border is going to pack you up as best as it can, right to the very end. Don't worry, we'll handle defense. Just save your strength for when it really counts. Speed on cannon, continue firing. Oh, nice. Thanks, Captain. I can tell from your voice that you must be a real cutie. Oh, man, I really wish I'd meet up with you guys sooner. Me too, Miss Miyamoto Musashi. But keep your focus on chaos. 6,000 meters to go until we reach the fissure. Estimated time until collision. Until collision. 16 seconds. Got it. Thanks for the ride, Captain. You did an absolute fantastic job. Not at all. It was an honor to help. Your bravery is an aspiration to us all. Alright. Man, that sure is a big guy you got there. I wonder, can you really see me with it? Even if you can, you're probably thinking, she's only a human. What can she possibly do? You're not wrong. There's no way a normal attack will ever do a thing to a fissure in space time in the other universe. Any kind of physical attack will be pointless. As would, be any, uh, as would any form of resistance. Basically, even the katana of the greatest sword fighter ever is even less significant than space does as far as you're concerned. Yeah, that's right. Everything I've ever done has amounted to no more than space does. I told myself I was walking the path of the sword even as I lost my way. I kept resisting, trying to accept what, uh, what I couldn't come to terms with. I don't know if I left anything of value behind. I don't even know if I get anything at all. But even so, the one thing I do know is that I've been lucky enough to meet some incredible people. So here I am. Now, after a long and self-centered journey, my blade, my sword, is ready to reach you. Chaos, your giant fissure in the universe might be devoid of form. But slashing the void is my destiny. Hey, Shin Man Mooney, you silly old man. You know how you love saying you're the strongest in the world? If you're out there, I hope you're watching this. Because I'm about to go where you never could. This is for you, Ishanaten. I shall break through the void to reach the truth. I shall pass beyond the state of zero. I shall break through the void to reach the truth. I shall pass beyond the state of zero. It was a single flash of a sword. 
a blade that should never have been able to hit his target. A serious disaster reaches Mark with perfect accuracy. How can I prove the existence of something that reaches beyond void, beyond non-existence? How can I describe what she did to reach a being whose very essence lies in non-existence? To strike at the chaotic void that lay past the gap in the universe, beyond time and space itself. I can't. It's impossible to put into words. All they can do is tell you what happened afterward. Her blade did indeed rend the very sky, causing the god of void to disappear beyond space-time without so much as a gasp of surprise. It was in the truest possible sense. A god destroying strike. Mm, I did it. I got the last god. Not a bad job for, mus for a Musashi who shouldn't even exist, huh? That was beyond perfect, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I hope everyone else saw that. I knew I could pull it off if I tried. <sighs> what was that? What just happened? I don't know. We just started going berserk. So I can't tell what's going on outside. What about Musashi? Is she still out on the ball? No. She's not. Chaos and Musashi are gone. The ship is part of me, so I can tell there's nothing outside anymore. No god, no heroic spirit, nothing. The fissure in space-time, the god in the cosmos, is closed. Then, does that mean... Yeah, I'm not going to miss words. Chaos returned to the original Nostal state. They'll stay silent forever now. Miyamoto Musashi burned out every ounce of her spirit origin and completely disappeared. She is gone. She is fully gone now. And in fact, it can be even proven now, right? Uh, I think it should be found here, right? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Both Saber Musashi and Berserker Musashi are now gone from data. From the from the list, they are truly, truly gone. <sighs> what a way! She so really left with a blast. One could even say. We're going to stop it here for today. We'll continue next week. As I said, there are like three big battles coming in. And after that it's over. Yeah. We're at chapter 23. So there are only... Uh... 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, yeah. Five chapters. Five chapters in total left. And Olympus will be completed. We'll continue next week. Because we're going to finish it for now. That is it for today. And for this week. Thank you much for being here. On today's stream. Next week, we, next week we'll continue. We'll finish off Olympus. And also we're going to farm the Gura Gura event. I kinda need to do that myself. Since I need to get Kagetura copies, but that's all I need in terms of urgency, but that's, that's all about it. Just like uh, three Kagetura NP copies, but that's about it. But yeah, more. Well, the ending of Olympus and some good Akura farming. And of course, Hollow Knight, that will also ha have to happen next week. As I promised, for making me reach affiliate, I'm also going to start playing Hollow Knight. Pretty sure by next week it should be fine, it should be all prepared for next week. 
So yeah, that's also that. So then, that is all for today, for this week. Hope you all enjoyed this week. And yeah, see you next week. Same time as always, 4 p.m. GMT plus 2 time. My time zone, whatever time zone is for you. You can always check it out on the internet. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye bye.